Dry news checks at four girl stations along the Odoko Kaneshi Road reveals shortage of super at all four stations. Although two stations at Odoko have both super and diesel shortage, go at Atiko Malam Junction and Malam Market both have diesel but no super. The situation appears to be an only goal problem because other OMCs along the stretch have well. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, explains why. I can confirm that there's been some um, light supply disruptions with um, GOEL. Uh, personally, I did a few of their outlets just yesterday, and it was difficult to get fuel. Um, we have to probe and ask a few questions, what probably could be accounting for. On the back of the fact that we had earlier uh, made a prediction that the second window uh, for April is likely to see fuel prices go up. Uh, we were thinking that it was simply uh, the issue of hoarding, where dealers were not willing to put products at the forecourt because they anticipate a price uh, adjustment upwards. Uh, but when we checked, it was just simply because they were not able to get uh, the sort of products that they do supply on a regular uh, to some of their outlets, and that has led uh, to the no fuel uh, sign at a lot of the four courts, where in some cases you may be lucky to get diesel but no petrol. Uh, in other cases, you don't even get the two products altogether. Are you expecting that it gets worse, uh, spreading to other parts of the country in the coming days? Well, um, it is likely they would be able to stem the tide. If you look at that, they have been able to discharge per hour check some 26 million liters uh, of the specific fuel that they put out on the market just last night. Um, it is expected that they will be able to ease uh, the shortage situation across uh, pumps across the country. But that might take a couple of days, uh, even up to a week, uh, to be able to rectify. Which, which means that the shortage is limited to oil and oil, not the other uh, fuel uh, OMCs. For now, I can confirm a lot of the other OMCs have products. Uh, Goyal is just trying to be specific with themselves, and for which reason most people will be turned back. Well, thank you so much for staying here on the AM show. A quick update on that is that we've been told by the company that distribution of uh, petrol will begin and uh, that will correct uh, the problem. We've been joined by energy expert Kujopoku uh, for his thoughts on this. Good morning to you and thank you for joining the program. So we heard from the COPEC boss, he believes that this has um, been caused by the gold for oil exchange program. What is your understanding of the situation? Well, uh, let me correct that. Um, Duncan has not said that the shortages have been caused by gold for oil. Um, I listened to the interview and I've monitored all his interviews. Um, the shortage is purely peculiar to Guell. Guell is having a shortage because they have not received the run 95 that they were scheduled to receive over the Easter period. You know, um, it's not that the ship was not here. You know, the, let me explain something to your listeners. There's something called a lacan, which is the queue by which all tankers come in and offload products at our port. Now, there was a ship loaded with run 95 PMS, which is petrol, to be offloaded. And you remember that the government has also bought crude oil that they were supposed to offload for VIA during the Abuazi Ghana gas uh, shutdown. So they needed to now stop the other tankers, which had the Ron 95 product offloading and load, offload the uh, crude oil for VIA so me and you can have light. Now, when the, these big tankers are, low, are offloading, it takes a bit of time. So that is what has caused the tanker which came in with the Ron 95 of loading later than it should have. If it wasn't that that had happened, me and you would not have seen this problem that Guel had. So it's a peculiar problem just with Guel because there is a lot of EMS in the system 
but it's run 91. Well, their estimate, they sell run 95. So they have just taken delivery now over the last couple of days of the run 95. And by maybe today, tomorrow, this shortage issue will go away. So, Mr. Kojopoku, um, fair enough, we're getting different explanations to what we're recording at Goyle, but uh, for you, what do you think the company should have done? Because this sends different signals to consumers and to other people who rely on them. I have experienced since last week, the middle of last week, people you know, driving up to some Goyle fuel stations and being told, we don't have anything for you, move away. How should the company have communicated this? Uh, to, to the consumers to avoid all the speculations and whatnot. Let me reiterate. Everybody has given the media the same explanation. It is a shortage of run 95. Nobody has given different explanations. But let me move on to the question you just asked. Look, Guel is not the only filling station in the country. If you only buy from Guel, then that's your priority, okay? If Guel has put out a statement, and I've seen a statement from Guel I've seen as of yesterday, that they have shot their fuel because of the supply of the Ron 95 petrol that they received. Now, bear in mind, we are coming out of a very lengthy holiday. Businesses close at Thursday and open at a Tuesday. So within that period, well as a company was not working. So if these shortages happen at the forecourt, it will only get to them by the Tuesday when they get back to work. Okay? And that is when I have explained what has caused that problem, which is, the tanker which was to offload their petrol was basically asked to step aside and let the crude oil tanker offload for VRA. So it is not something that they could have done anything about it during the holiday period that we had. And now that the problem has now been made public, they have issued a statement as of yesterday. So I think yesterday being Tuesday... Uh, but my question is, why did the company have to wait for it to come through the media before releasing a response, you serve a certain group of people who come to you for a service. And so if there's a distribution disruption or a supply disruption, isn't it just, you know, proper that you do that first? Right, we're having a shortage countrywide. It's not all well filling stations that don't have well. Some don't, some do. Have that filling station that. that. We, and we haven't said um, that it is all Goyle stations. And I, I just spoke to my colleague who did that interview with Duncan Amwa, and he says that the explanation on the disruptions caused by the Gold for Oil uh, program was a general uh, a reaction to what is happening generally within the markets and not specifically to the Goyle issue. But... My question is, this is, this is fuel that people rely on heavily, okay? And the, the, in some jurisdictions that I have been to, many of the Goyle stations that didn't have any run 95 at all. And so, I mean, I just, I, I just want to believe that the company should have been more proactive, or? During the um, Easter holiday, or proactive after they came back to work. We issued a statement yesterday, and I think that's proactive enough. We came back to work on Tuesday, and on Wednesday, when they noticed that problem, Goel has issued a statement yesterday. So I think that's proactive enough. I don't know if we wanted a statement on the Easter Monday. I, I experienced this way before Easter Monday, Mr. Poku. Well, uh, the com it came, from what I understand, it came to the company's notice after they resumed from the Easter break. So if it was before, they only, from my explanation, from my information, that problem now came to them by the time that they came back from the Easter holiday. But I'm not here to hold you for well. What I'm saying is that, look, we should stop this obsession with just trying to buy fuel from just one filling station. There is a ton of filling stations around the country. You can't get fuel from well, but from another person. Why do we have to insist on buying from well? No, well, because, we, well, Mr. Poku, I mean, it, it's, uh, every, every consumer has a reason they buy from uh, a, a certain marketer, right? And all these fuel stations are marketing their, their products to us and telling us the benefits of using those products. So if I choose one over the other, I mean, that's the, uh, that's the, 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 the joy I have as a consumer for having multiple options, isn't it? Well, that's fine. In your point of having multiple options, one of the options you've chosen is not available, so what do you do? You move on to another option. 
that's what I think. I, I honestly don't see how we want to beat that um, situation. Initially, people were trying to make it look like it's a nationwide problem. When we came out to say that it's not a nationwide problem, now people are trying to say that, oh, Duncan said it's gold for oil. Duncan has never said it's gold for oil. Nobody has said it's gold for oil. In fact, I don't I have not seen cited any interview or any great writer from OPEC to say that it's gold for oil. And I have not said that. So who has been saying that the shortage is as a result of well, oil? Well, like I mentioned, I, I have just spoken to my colleague who did that interview with him, and he gave us explanations or gave us... Um, more details on Mr. Duncan Amor's submission. We've been trying to reach Duncan Amor himself for him to clarify this um, and, and so that he can set the record straight himself. Yeah, well, we are I unable to reach him this the morning. Record on behalf of Duncan. I, 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 I could do for I'm very capable in speaking on behalf of Kofek and Duncan. And I'm setting the record straight. He has not done that. He has not said anything to that effect. His interview he granted to City yesterday, he did not say that. And he has not said that. So I, Kojo Kuku, would say that on behalf of my brother, Dan Kanamwa, that he has not said that. So that is a rebuttal enough for you. Right, uh, Mr. Poki. So I, again, this morning, passed by some filling, uh, filling stations that didn't have the run 95 earlier this week, and they've begun selling that. And so um, that's just to understand that we are not saying this is a nationwide shortage. We're just telling the story as it is from the point of customers who were frustrated and hadn't heard anything from the company. Uh, but th uh, we'll leave it here. Thank you so much for your, your time this morning. Hopefully we'll be able to get uh, Mr. Duncan Amwa again for him to tell us exactly what he meant when he mentioned the gold for oil policy to my colleague in his interaction on this shortage matter. But I appreciate your time uh, here this morning. Kujo Poku is energy expert, uh, just sharing his understanding with us on what's happening uh, at some oil filling stations in the country. Much later on the program, we'll be letting you in, share your experience with us, and let us know if you've been able to access fuel um, since the, the company says the distribution has begun to deal with the deficit. We'll be back for more here on the AM Show. Do stay.